Good morning, guys. Good to have seen you here. We're going to talk about um, we're going to talk a bit about me first of all, yeah. Um, but before we do that, today's video is going to be about Vabble, so I haven't done one for a while. Um, Axion and the a little bit on the AMA actually that took place early this morning, uh, and that's with Polygon. Axion price movement where I think and what, what we can expect from that and a little bit on Direwolf uh, with regards to them um, with the new tokenomics that they're doing etc but first and foremost a bit about me so if you're new to crypto now guys this ain't financial advice please do your own research on any project I talk about or any youtuber or social influencer does out there yeah you must make sure that you can afford to go into these projects that you're not going out there and getting yourself in debt um, just hoping that you're going to jump into some sort of project put a hundred dollars in and be a millionaire overnight yeah so as I said this is not financial advice but this this is how I sort of got into crypto and how I play the game so to speak so hopefully this might give a few of you guys a bit of a, a few tips and um, yeah so I got into crypto early 2017, late 2016, early 2017, four, four and a half years, something like that. It's been such a long time, four years in crypto is more like 10 years, yeah. I first got into two projects, one was called Utrust, which is like PayPal crypto, and Electronium, yeah. Now I'm still both in, invested in both these projects. I call them pension tokens, meaning that they, they're my retirement to tokens. I'm, I'm thinking five, six, seven years from now, I'm not expecting um, a thousand X gains in one year. Now, if you're new to crypto, obviously you've seen the news and stuff like with Elon Musk, with Dogecoin and stuff like that, doing a thousand, two thousand X. That is like winning the lottery, yeah. Um, now, the point I'm making on that is yes, there are projects out there that you could chuck a hundred dollars in and be very, very lucky and you, you you will make the gains on it. But if you want to play it safe and you want to earn more money than what you would do in interest in your money just sitting in the bank, uh, yet again, not financial advice, what you have to do, in my opinion, is dollar cost average into projects and dollar cost average out. Meaning, for instance, Let's say hypothetically you jump into Vabble and you, you got into Vabble um, and at roughly at the moment it's say sitting at say 3 cents. Now if you believe that Vabble is going to go down to 1.5 cents and you have got $1,000 to spare at the moment but you're not sure that it's going to go down to 1.5 cents then that's when you dollar cost average in. So out of your $1,000 you might say to yourself well what I'm going to do is at least buy $300 worth and then I'm going to sit and wait. Now then if it drops to one and a half cent, then you might say, right, I think this is the bottom. I'll put another one, uh, another three hundred dollars in. Yeah. So your dollar cost averaged in. Yeah. And what that does is that your entry level now is less than getting in at three cents. Yeah. So it's at three cents. It halves in price. You've you've doubled down on it, so to speak. And now it's more like say your entry level now is more like say two cents roughly not mathematician but it's roughly that so the point I'm making is instead of you throwing six hundred dollars at three cents it drops to one and a half cent yeah so that now your 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 six hundred dollars is worth uh, three hundred dollars yeah while you're waiting and you've you've spent a lot of your money sort of thing so to speak so what you do at the end of the day that this is how I do it and then obviously the opposite happens as well so you you put three hundred dollars in it goes up so the good point there is you're making money yeah your 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 three hundred dollars if it goes to six cents you've doubled your money at least you're not sitting on the sideline waiting is it going to go down before i get in or is it going to go up yeah so that is called dollar cost averaging in so to dollar cost average out it works the same way yeah so you've got your three hundred dollars in it goes to six cents every single project out there you have bots you have traders that have entry levels where they buy and where they sell so even Babel, Babel shot up to well over 20 cents in in the first run up in the first few weeks um, and now it's retraced all the way back down to three cents yeah 
with Axion, this is how I got into Babel through the Axion launch pad. Yeah, and I, I'm vested, which means I got into the IDO initial DEX offering. Now, I'm in 0 0.96 cents, so even at the moment, and this is why it's good to get into launch pads, even at this moment in time, I'm still 3x up on the money I invested that way. But also, when Babel launched, and I see it at one point, I think it was 1.5 cents, I, I bought more on the open market. As Babel went up to 6, 7 cents, I sold a little bit. As it went to 10 cents, I sold a little bit more. I'm just using Babel as an example, guys. Yeah, I do this with every single project. Yeah, whether I love, whether I'm absolutely in love with the project or not, at the end of the day, they're investments. Yeah, and they've all got fantastic communities, and it is like being part of a family. But at the end of the day, every one of us out there, you'd be lying if you're saying you're not. Everyone is out there to earn money. That is why we do this. Yeah, so forgot where I was now right so so yeah so I dollar cost averaged out until such point I had my money back yeah what I invested in Vabble I've got back out so what I have in Vabble now is what you call free money so I don't get emotional when the price Vabble could go down to half a cent there and I'm not uh, emotional about that because I'm not losing money I've had my money back I also done the same with Axiom I also done the same with Utrust, I also done the same with Electronium, yeah. It takes time. If you're new to crypto, don't expect to do this in a matter of weeks, yeah. It does take time. And what I mean by that is it's took me four years, yeah, to accumulate from just a little bit of, of money in the beginning, yeah, to where I am today, yeah, which is I'm quite comfortable. So. That being said, I hope that gives you guys a little bit of an insight of um, how I play uh, the market, so to speak. Your dollar cost average in, your dollar cost average out. Don't try and gamble all in one go, because that is when you get what I call the guys that come on Telegram, on Discord, why dump? I'm down 80%. It's because those type of guys, unfortunately, because they've not been educated enough, they've just got into crypto, unfortunately, maybe they've got a bank loan of a thousand dollars and see a project uh, a set price maybe the the, the project is, is mooning going up and they fomo in near the top um and then they spend all of their money instead of just doing a little bit at a time and so now that their thousand dollars is maybe worth say three four hundred dollars now they've got to wait a whole lot long time now for it to retrace back past to where they bought in if the project is good enough yeah and continue past so i hope that makes sense and i hope uh, that gives some of you guys a little bit of insight on that so getting onto Vabble itself Vabble, and i've said this in many videos before with Vabble. Vabble is netflix on steroids at the end of the day it's a long play and what i mean by long play is at this moment in time we are quarter four to quarter one 2022 so this is over the next three months October November December January that sort of uh, time scale and this is what they're going to be doing at that moment continued uh, platform testing the Vabble integration co-watching deployment and alpha testing yeah so then in the second quarter which obviously we're not on at the moment then it's going to be the better beta better beta um, live yeah private access for early backers yeah revenue system deployment nft marketplace yeah and then as you can see a quarter for Vabble production launch pad funded movies series documents uh, documentaries uh, uh release yeah and then on the fourth part which i like because i love my food yeah takeaway <laughs> integration <laughs> so you can be sitting there watching a film and i should imagine it'd be something like uber eats or something like that you maybe have a little map thing come up with um you know some eateries in your area um, and while you're watching a, a, a TV program or a documentary you'll be able to click on on some sort of interaction I don't know how they're planning to do that yet but it's a really good idea and order your favorite Chinese takeaway or your favorite pizza yeah and full launch so as you can see quarter 
4 of 2023 to quarter 2 2024 yeah now for a project uh, for a project or a business to do all of this in that amount of time this is actually a short short period of time it took Amazon 10 years before it started making money now we we know Amazon is a behemoth of a of a, um, a company yeah so the point I'm making here Netflix imagine if you could have got in Netflix right at the very beginning and invested in Netflix when blockbuster video was out with the the old uh, CDs and video cassette recorders and back then you can go and read articles on it uh, oh Netflix this will never take off you know people ain't gonna want to stream their stuff and all the rest of it but as technology moves on as we know with the internet the broadband speed speed getting faster and faster etc um, it's took off it's as simple as that now so the, the guys that are behind Babel yeah you got CEO and co uh, and founder sorry James and then you've got CEO and co-founder Michael these are the two most prominent guys yeah and then you've got the lead dev yeah uh, Mud yeah you've got the back end and infra yeah Mo which is it he's a former freelancer yeah and front end Daniba yeah former Daimler R&D yeah so James was a former Vodafone so he obviously knows a lot about communications and stuff yeah and uh, Michael was with Hoddlebot yeah so and he's a former bounty hunter yeah, I bet he could tell some stories, mud, yeah. So, the launch pad part, yeah, right, it's a tool for filmmakers uh, to find funding with our agendas and markability requirements inherent to uh, corporations and VC funding. <clears throat> right, platform for viewers and investors to fund production of Babel exclusive content uh, that they would like to see. So the point... Let, I'll, I'll explain this in in a bit of a, an easier way. So, was it the pitch deck? No, I'll actually just talk about it. So basically, if you can imagine a launch pad, and then imagine, um, let's say I'm a filmmaker, <coughs> and even independent filmmakers can uh, send their project to Netflix, and Netflix will decide whether they put it up or not, right? But, imagine this. You're, you're staking your babble, yeah, and you want to participate in voting on whether you want to see a film a documentary a video short or whatever being uh, on the the Vabble network so to speak well you're going to be able to do that yeah and the way it sort of is going to work it could change over time guys it's, it's how they're putting it all about at the moment but basically so you've got a launch pad someone like myself say I've made a, uh, a, a documentary for instance and then I'll put it forward to them the first thing they're going to do is they're going to put it towards a professional uh, video board members yeah and one of the, the, the board members which is Richard C, uh, John C Hall yeah and this guy he was the uh, vice president of distribution and marketing at Universal Pictures so they're going to have big hitters like John yeah that are going to be on a video uh, review board type thing so then what's going to happen is is my, my video I've sent them and they're gonna say oh crypto casino no it's, it's a load of crap it won't even get past the the video re review board so to speak yeah but let's say oh crypto casino you've made a fantastic video yes right now we're going to put that forward for a vote and then us as stakers in Vabble yeah we would then be able to say yep yeah, we want to see crypto casinos video documentary on Vabble or no we don't now the good thing and the beauty of this as well you can't just um, come into say this platform and stake your tokens and not participate in the voting well you can do but you're not going to receive any dividends and rewards for that yeah the whole ecosystem with, with Vabble itself is you're going to be able to um, you for 30 days yeah you, you you've got to participate basically in the voting yeah because otherwise you, you you won't get any dividends more or less yeah there's a whole wealth of stuff on here guys and obviously i want to try and keep the video as short as i can as you know most of our videos last 20 minutes um but yeah i mean i'm keeping an eye on Vabel. i'm still heavily invested in Vabel. i think these guys are doing fantastic now one thing i do know is that they will be putting out and there was I think you can come to blog let me just make sure blog um, yes there we are 
So on the blog, you can see that the latest update, development update. So available development status, October edition, okay? So there will be a November edition. Obviously, we've only got like five, six, seven days roughly in it, yeah? And then we're into November. They put this one out on the 14th of October, so don't expect it straight away on the 1st of November, but we will wait and see. So you can come here and check all of this out, yeah? Um, there is a video floating about. I've done a little short clip of it with John C. Hall, his uh, participation and his thoughts, etc., on Vabble itself. Very interesting to watch. And um, Hollywood's back in Vabble big. Yeah, so this to me is a smart investment. As I said, it's not financial advice, but if. Um, if, if, if I was you guys, at least take a peek at this, do your own research, and try and think out of the box, yeah? Um, try and think that, right, okay, I've got a small amount of money you might just have, and you, you, you're thinking, right, okay, I don't need that five, six years or whatever. Invest a little, yeah? It's, even if you've got just a bit of small change in the game, you know, that's in my opinion. Right, so, that being said, I think what we'll do in a second is we'll go over to Axion. So first and foremost, welcome to any of you guys that are watching this video through coming from the Polygon network community. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, and hopefully you've seen the beginning of this video a little bit about me and stuff like that. So Axion, first of all, now we're on the Polygon network, it's going to make it easier for us to implement new ecosystem type projects, um, uh, products, sorry, uh, to, to bolt on to the, the behemoth that Axion will become, okay? Now, in the past, we had past launches, Vabel, which I've just spoke about, Direwolf, Sleepy Sloth, the lead developer, uh, T. Delhi, that's his baby, and we also have Securitance, which um, is where I done my KYC actually for Vabel, I believe. Yep. So, what is Axion itself? Well, hopefully you've done your research and you've gone out there and you've watched the likes of Axion Official. There will be stuff in the uh, description part of this video, guys. Yeah. So, everything to do with Axion will be in there, and also Axion tokens. Uh, YouTube channel he does live streams every single day and more than live streams sometimes he does two videos a day even more um, I don't know where he gets the energy from um, so yeah that being said so this is what you call the accelerator now you can at this moment in time you can use Matic you can use Raptorferium you can use USD you can use Day stablecoin yeah you can use wrapped Bitcoin and you can use Chainlink. Yeah. So any one of these that you can actually use. For simple terms, let's just go straight to this and um, we go to the advanced. So I like playing with the advanced bit because you can tweak everything in here. So as I've said in previous videos, this is for you new guys, but put $3,000 in at this moment in time. Yeah. Now, if you've done it for 15 years, now bearing in mind, you can split stakes. Yeah, this is a new feature on, on Axion. And, I, and I'm not sure if it's done in any other staking platforms, but this is awesome. Yeah, meaning, uh, let's say in one year's time and you want to split a stake, and I'll show you that in a minute, because I'll, I will link uh, one of my test wallets so you can actually see that. So, point being is, you've got $3,000, let's say you've got it in USD, so that's what you call your principal, that there. You're gonna get 20% extra as a bonus, as a thank you, you might as well say, um, for staking it for 15 years. So now, you've got $3,600, okay? You're gonna have big, big payday bonuses. You're gonna be eligible for them. As you can see, they're all ticked. So you're eligible for them. And our first big payday is actually in four days, yeah, which I'm eligible for. Um, yeah, so basically, and then so the maturity value, meaning if Axion stayed at this price, it didn't go up, it didn't go down, it stayed at this price, yeah, you got to more or less three times your money. Now, even after 15 years, can anyone say that with a bank account that you would you would three times your money? Now, and the other thing, what you've got to realize as well, 
is you're getting monthly seventy dollars worth of Bitcoin. Yep. So yearly, that's eight hundred dollars a year. Yeah. I mean that is just mind blowing. Okay. So, but let's say you just want to dip your toes in and think, well, I want to just see how this all plays out. And yeah, I, I need that extra bit of cash, but I just want to see how it plays out. So you put your three thousand dollars in. You do the minimum amount of days, which is sixty days. So there's your principal amount, three thousand. You're giving you hundred and fifty dollars for just sticking your money in the staking portal for sixty days. Sixty days. Now bear in mind, yet again, it's at the current price. Okay. So once all this matures, with the little bit of wrapped Bitcoin and everything else you get in, and the little bit of extra Axiom you, you get. You pull out your three thousand dollars in sixty days. Now this is estimated, guys. This can be a little bit less if the price of Axion is down, or this could be double if 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 Axion's price shoots up. It could be double. Not financial advice, as I said. But what would you rather do? Have three thousand dollars sitting in the bank for the next sixty days, or would you rather put it into something like this that has already been around over a year? Axion has. We've gone through so much hardship in terms of excruciating gas fees with ethereum and the core team the marketing team you know you listen to some of the um the the, the uh axion official uh youtube videos come and get involved in the community it's one of the best communities i've been in and i've been in crypto as i said in the beginning of this video a long time and for me to say that and sort of put in my name to this, so to speak, yes, I'm only a small YouTuber, but who knows how big I'm going to get over, over time, yeah? Uh, hopefully I'll get quite big. <laughs> I don't want to be too big because I, I can't be asked, you know, too much social media sort of thing. I'm mainly doing this because I'm a bit passionate about investing and stuff like that. But And I do like to talk as well. But the point being is, is after maturity, look, that's $3,190. Yeah, yeah, 91, shall we say. So, you tell me where you can earn $191 in interest in three months from $3,000. Yeah, bonds, stocks, shares, da da da, where? And this is relatively, I have to say relatively, I'd, I'd, I'd love to say 100% safe, but you can't, not in crypto. Yeah, so um, you've got to do your own research. Yeah. But uh, this is an absolute fantastic project to be in. And it's as simple as that. So, and um, what with all the other ecosystem, NFT marketplace is coming up. Yeah, these launch pads. This is what I'm excited for. Launch pads. Yeah, I've made quite a bit of money in launch pads, guys. Yeah, um, and the Axion launch pad is by far the cheapest one out there. Yeah, uh, once they get that rolled out. Now what's that going to do obviously on the price as well? Well let's have a look at the price. So as you can see I've done my little triangle bit. I don't like doing technical analysis uh, to be honest guys and the reason being is because you just don't know. Elon Musk might come in in a, in a minute and say I love Axion and this goes Pium, up there Then all of this is out the window. But what this does do is it does give you a rough indication of where we're going. Yeah. So I've got it on a 30 minute candle. Heineken yeah, Hyinki, anyone that watched the um, voice chat, Telegram voice chat last week, they know my favourite beer now, Heineken and Cobra, I do like Cobra beer, which is an Indian beer, right, anyway, so, um, all you can, you can see on this both ways actually, you can see, look, these are higher lows, yeah, uh, sorry, higher lows, yeah, and lower highs, yeah, so he's putting this into a bit of a consolidation mode. Yeah. Now you can't really go by this because we've literally been going what four or five days. When, when did we start on this chart? Twentieth of October, roughly. You really need the charts going for a few weeks, yeah, if not a few months, to really get a, a, a good feel for a pattern. Yeah. Because once we announce Polygon, obviously we're going to have a pump. When you get a massive bit of an announcement, you're going to have a pump. And then what you have is you'll, you'll have bots. Yeah, let's show you some bots. So then you have smart contracts or bots, yeah. Uh, where are we? So like this, a bot here, you know, you'll have one that's buying and selling, right? So like there's six buys and looks like nine sales. And whenever I do a video, my phone always rings. But anyway, so 
yeah, so consolidation mode at the moment. Now, I've drawed this nice little fancy little thing here. So, in my opinion, it can go two ways. Obviously, it can go down. But at the same time, we could continue like this. And then if we break past this line here, this, this trending line, the, the, uh, the, sorry, my phone put me off there. I've got it on vibrate, but it still puts you off when you're recording. So these higher lows, yeah, if we break past that, then we broke this, this trend line going down, so to speak, right? But also the same happens if, if it goes below these, yeah? Now, my personal opinion is, is oh, we've, we've had the polygon, uh, which I was in this morning, and for me, I had to be up at, well, I got up at 6 a.m., because I thought it was 6 a.m., but it was 6.30 a.m., so I had the pleasure of listening in on that, which is absolutely fantastic, and um, onwards and upwards with Axiom. You're going you're gonna to have sell-offs. You're going to have sell-offs, guys, and you're going you're gonna to have it pumping as well. My personal opinion is, I, I personally, I'm just drawing here by the way, yeah. My personal opinion is, oh, let's delete that. My personal opinion is we could be seeing round about the five, four, four and a half to five. Now I say four and a half first because, if I can draw this properly, yeah, they, they was the, the last two times that we had the, um, the highs, yeah. And then obviously a quick, quick bit of a sell off there, probably bots at that time. But once we break past that, the four and a half, when I say four and a half, look, triple zero, four, five. Yeah, and then it's onwards and upwards, in my personal opinion. And the team has got so much coming out that it's just only a matter of time before the bots run out of steam as well. Okay, so, um, or they're accumulated enough and then and then they, they just put their, their uh, stuff to one side until we, we go up to the all-time R, which is, I think, triple zero seven something or other. But anyway, so that's Axiom. <coughs> Direwolf, real quick bit on Direwolf. At this moment in time, we don't know, and my internet's gone off, no, it's back on there. Um, we don't know, um, well, I don't know, and I was gonna bring this up, as you can see, me internet's coming back on. Might have to, because what it is, I'm in the garage, and uh, uh, this is a pain, this is where, the good thing is I can still record. But see, now what I have to do now is unplug waffles, no dogs with me. So I have to unplug, I've got one of these electrical plug socket things that I have to do. So it's playing up at the moment. All right. So literally I have to unplug it and plug it back in. All right. Hopefully that's solved that. Yes, it has. So at this moment in time with Direwolf, <coughs> Um, the there was a bit of news from uh, the team. Basically, we are we. It's a bit confusing for me at the moment as well. So, the the main thing is is that they're they're pushing forward and moving ahead with the uh, tokenomics. So we're moving from the Direwolf One token. So it's going to be obsolete. We've got to swap it for Direwolf Two Point um and then eventually the we will be getting the fat loot loot token yeah now fat loot is fat loot studios and that is the untamed isles yeah so there i think it's either emerging or fat fat loot is basically taking over um dialogue in my, what, what i can gather so i've got to do a bit more research on this at the moment because i've been super busy really covering Axion and the other ones at the moment and the reason being is because I'm waiting for like this marketplace yeah um, the telegram I don't know what's up with the telegram yeah so if we look here for a minute you know Matt has put a long thing in here you know like long <laughs> so but uh, there's a bit in here where is what I'm saying so here we go look uh, let me just read this bit at you. It's been, been through through this cross collaboration that an agreement has been made for the absorption of Direwolf into the Fat Loof ecosystem and become Fat Loot DeFi. While this may come as a surprise to some, others it might not. Well, it has to me a bit. My understanding, well, 
to be honest, I don't know at the moment. And I will keep, I'm still invested in Direwolf and I still believe in, the, in, in these guys, yeah? And I can see where they're coming from. You know, Direwolf was a meme coin. That wasn't working out. So they, they've got to change to, to move along with it. So, but at the moment, to me, it's not clear exactly what they're doing. So we, what we're doing is we're going to a Direwolf 2.0 token whilst we're waiting for all the logistics and everything else to take place to the fat loot, loot token. To me, it's a bit confusing. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, uh, I, I would have sooner have said, well, just wait with Direwolf 1.0 and then switch straight to Fat Loot. But obviously, these guys know what they're doing of, and for whatever reason, it's got to be done this way. So yes, we're going to lose investors by doing this because you're going to be moving over from one token to another, and then again, and it's not a good sign doing stuff like that. But on the other end. Um, you know, this is my personal opinion, guys. Yeah, by the way, um, I'm not in with the core team. I, I don't know what they're exactly doing. But if you can come over to Telegram or on the Discord, it's all, all here for, for, for you to read, basically. But look, the reason we are taking this approach instead of moving straight to Fat Loot Token is for a couple of reasons. So Matt details them out here. So the details of the Fat Loot Token rollout will take more time to work out. The tokenomics and legal details have to be thoroughly vetted prior to launch. Right, so that's that's one of the main reasons there. But what I can't still understand is why don't we just stick with the, why are we confusing it with going on the Diable 2 token? Uh, why, why aren't we just sticking with the Diable 1? Now, the only thing I can think of is that the Diable 2 token is gonna be uh, less supply, as, as far as I can take it but then I still don't get it, if I'm honest. <laughs> so I'm probably missing something, yeah? I still believe in these guys, and I, I speak to Cody and uh, Fidgety Beast. Um, to be honest, for a few weeks I haven't, <clears throat> but I'm always uh, jumping backwards and forwards uh, listening to these guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, at the moment, it, it's like with Fable, it's like with any of the other projects that I'm in. Um, I'll, I'll, I will speak about them if, if there's stuff to speak about. Uh, but that's my two cents on, on Dial Wolf at the We will see how this plays out. Um, it's probably going to be for a good thing, uh, you know, all, all good reasons, but we need to see it play out. Because too much has changed at the moment for, for my liking, if I'm really honest. You know, from when we was meant to be doing the staking, and then that's out the window, and then switching one token to another. And then Untamed Isles was going to use us uh, you know, for dire play, and now it's not. So I do understand every company goes through different transitions, okay? And I, I'm, I'm, I hope you guys understand this as well. So they're obviously doing it for the better, for the, for the better of the investors and for the better of the company itself, yeah? So we'll just see how that one plays out. So, but anyway, super, super duper. Axion at the moment, I can't fault it guys, yeah? If there's only one thing that I would like to sort of say uh, with, with Axion, um, and that is when barley. <laughs> so anyway, I think we will leave it at that, and I hope you have enjoyed this video, and it's probably very long, and any of you that stayed to the end, um, thanks, basically. And as I always say, be lucky in crypto, and peace out.